Florida Senator Bill Nelson introduces legislation calling for child caps on all bottles of nicotine for e-cigarettes. And now he's calling for further government regulations. I team investigator Adam Walser first reported about the dangers in March and joins us now with the very latest on this. Adam? Well, Wendy, Senator Nelson describes liquid nicotine for e-cigarettes as being like barrels of poison arriving into the marketplace with no regulation. Today, he told the I-Team he wants new regulations to protect children and the general public from these products, which are increasingly popular. Not fast enough and not enough. That's how Senator Bill Nelson described the FDA's response to regulating liquid nicotine used in e-cigarettes, products he says are targeting kids. Here's banana split, cotton candy, a Kool-Aid, Skittles. But as the IT first reported in March, the vials of potentially poisonous liquids aren't currently required to have childproof caps. It's a really an accident waiting to happen. So far, more than 60 e-liquid poisoning cases have been reported in Florida. About 1,500 have occurred nationwide. If a child drinks it, uh, that child is either going to be deathly ill or dead. Senator Nelson has introduced a bill that would require the Consumer Product Safety Commission to mandate childproof caps on e-liquids. Because there's only vapor. He's also working on a proposal to ban television advertising of e-cigarettes, which Nelson says glamorizes the product. Here we go again. We've seen this movie before with what tobacco was doing to addict young people so that they're hooked for life on cigarettes. Nelson says the government needs to step in sooner rather than later before more young people began using the products. And the FDA really needs to clamp down in your mind on this stuff. Absolutely. E-cigarettes are not regulated. The FDA is going to have to do that. And if they don't do it on their own, then the Congress is going to have to make them. Nelson says he's working with Senator Dianne Feinstein on the proposed TV advertising ban, something he expects will be heavily opposed by the multi-billion dollar e-cigarette industry. I'm investigator Adam Walser, taking action for you.